Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we will talk about having an attitude of gratitude. In the musical 42nd Street, a group of people sing the song, Sunny Side to Every Situation. They reflect, when your car is out of gas, then no red lights can you pass. Every situation has a sunny side. It's a cute song with some positive spin to life's challenges. But is this attitude of gratitude possible in real life? Let's find out as we continue our study of the book of Thessalonians. Here is what Paul writes in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 2. We give thanks to God always for all of you, constantly mentioning you in our prayers. Because of Paul's sincere desire that the Thessalonians constantly know God's grace and peace, it was understandable for the Apostle Paul and his companions to give thanks to God always for all of them, making mention of them in their prayers. Paul, Silas, and Timothy thank God continually for all of them, because all the Thessalonian believers were the elect of God. The Thessalonians, because they were elect, were living for the honor of Christ. But what does this have to do with gratitude in the face of trouble? Think about it. Paul lived in an imperfect world. He faced challenges of all kinds from people of all different types from religious leaders, the government. He experienced physical challenges and everyday living in the ancient world. <laughs> Remember, there were no cars, there was no air conditioning, serious challenges. But in all seriousness, there were some issues that concerned Paul for the Thessalonian church. There were some issues at Thessalonica that concerned Paul because the persecution there was persecution going on that drove the missionaries out of Thessalonica. This had not decreased. The church needed encouragement to stand firm in their faith. Also, enemies of the truth were spreading lies about Paul and his companions. He also was concerned that these new converts might slip back into their pagan heritage. The Apostle Paul was also concerned about the Thessalonian reputation with those outside the church. He was concerned about end times theology. He was concerned about so much more. So in the face of challenges and struggles, he was still thankful. He says, we give thanks to God always for all of you. He is thankful for this group of believers, but notice who he is thankful to. He's not thankful to the Thessalonians for themselves. He's thankful to God. God is the source of their salvation and peace. Remember, Paul said, grace and peace to you. But from who? God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is how and why in the face of opposition and challenge, we can maintain a thankful heart. It's because the source of our joy and peace is not in faith but in the object of our faith. We can be grateful in any situation because our hope is not in our circumstances, but in our Savior. Paul was grateful for these people because of Jesus Christ. What are the circumstances that drain you of your gratitude and peace? What is happening in your life that is causing you to be discontented and unhappy? Please, Share it in the comments below so we can pray for you today. Remember, friend, God's grace and peace are available to you today. So focus on these, and when you do, you will win the day.